welcome back to the kitchen with me. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Here I have three chicken breasts that I've washed in lemon juice, cleaned up really good, and I've sort of, kind of, sort of fillet them. And then, like my husband said, I'm gonna beat them real good to sort of tenderize them. Pounding out my chicken, my chicken. I have some oil on here heating, and in this bowl I have one cup of um, all-purpose flour and about three tablespoons of cornstarch mixed together. Now I am going to season the chicken lightly, and as I season the chicken, I'm also going to add the seasonings to the flour also. So here we have some salt. Have some black pepper. Smoked paprika and you want to pat dry your chicken first so you don't have, you don't have it all wet since you clean it up first before you cut them Some garlic powder. Oops. You know what they say? You know, comes you quick. Mm -hmm. Some onion powder. And a little chicken seasoning. I have no um, egg mixture or any milk and salts because I just want a lightly battered chicken. I'm going to lightly bread these as I said. I'm going to add a piece of butter inside the pan with the oil for flavoring. Ooh, come on. Save the other piece for later. Shake it off. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. No, don't show me shaking. All right guys, I am going to brown these about three minutes on each side. When I come back, all the chicken will be brown and we will get started on the next step, okay? All okay, right, so here are all my chicken breasts. They are looking quite lovely, if I may say so myself. So I'm about to take the last piece out. And I want to still use this oil, however, I feel there is just a little bit too much of the bread crumb in there. 
breadcrumbs, so I'm going to take some out with a little bit of the oil, yes. I don't want to use all this oil either. Okay. I'm not going to spend too much time doing this, so guys. Now, for the second part, I have here four cloves of garlic that I just chopped up. bunch of baby baby kale that I chopped small you can use um, spinach if you like but this girl don't like the texture of cooked spinach besides in a spinach dish I don't like the texture of cooked spinach don't know why I like raw spinach don't get me wrong I don't want to eat she don't eat right I have a little piece of butter. And if you use spinach, you may want to lessen the cooking time, of course. I'm just getting this all incorporated really well. I have a box of heavy whipping cream here. Heavy cream, I'm going to add not all of it. What the heck? I'm gonna add all of it. All right, guys. I'm gonna let my kale cook about three to five minutes. I'm gonna add a little salt and pepper and a little onion powder, and I will see you back here in about three to five minutes. Okay? Guys, okay, so our kale has been cooking for three to five minutes. As I said, I'm going to add a smidgen of Parmesan cheese. Parmesan cheese. Try not to eat too much cheese around here. So it's about what do you call it? Moderation. You do as much as you want. Okay, to this I'm going to add sun-dried tomatoes. This is um 8.5 ounces. I don't believe I'll be using all of this, no. chicken pieces back to this deliciousness and we are going to serve this with some linguine pasta of course <laughs> stop playing with the red ring. I'm going to cover this about two minutes. See you back in two minutes. Hey, 
sheep. So here we go. We are all done with our chicken and kale, creamy chicken and kale. I am so sure that your family and you will completely enjoy this meal. I am looking for supporters of my channel. So if you like what you see, I appreciate your support by subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing so others can enjoy these delicious meals. I want to thank you so very much for visiting and watching. From my family to yours, from my kitchen to yours, stay blessed and stay safe out there, okay? God bless.